Deaf teenage girls are studying at Pwani Secondary School for the Deaf amidst a special national school says they are facing a number of challenges in their studies. Some of the girls say most parents and community members do not understand how to communicate with them, a situation that is affecting their studies. The school's deputy principal, Catherine Wanza, stressed that communication barrier from the parents, community, politicians who do not understand the plight of the deaf was a major challenge. She said teachers go through many challenges as the girls who do not have crucial facilities like masks and majority of them always go for office for help and it has really drained her finances to an extent that she's unable to support them anymore. The parents, I tell them to provide, but you find most of our parents parents are poor. Others, they believe that special schools have sponsors. We have sponsors and actually we do not have sponsors. That is their thinking capacity. So unapata, mzaza anakuja, anadrop mwanafunzi kule kwa barabara, mtoto anambua shule ndiyo hile, aende kwa shule. Kwa hivyo we mwalimu utajua mwenyewe, utamprovidea kila kitu. She said a program to supply the girls with sanitary towels should be put in place, hailing well wishes who have been of great assistance. They're using big numbers. Like I had uh, four, four sacks of 48 pieces and so far now zimeisha within a month. Kwa hivyo sasa naomba aki niletewe. Another thing, boy child. Mumesa how the boy child. How have you forgotten the boy child? This is a mixed school.